So you might have seen the Odd Ones Out video about reality shifting. And in this video, I wanna explain a few things that he, I think he got wrong in this video uh, that you probably don't realize. You probably don't know these things. So make sure to stay for the whole video because there's a few things that he really did get wrong that I think you need to consider. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel because we do post weekly videos on shifting, lucid dreaming, consciousness, and reality. Okay, so one of the first things that I think was wrong in the video is that it makes it sound like just because something is difficult, just because something is kind of difficult, crazy, or uh, it sounds like it would not be possible, that that somehow means that it's not possible. There are so many things, countless things in physical reality, which if you explained them to somebody, especially if you explained them to somebody a few years ago or you know before these things were accepted and, and proved and whatever, they would have sounded impossible and they would have sounded just as crazy and far-fetched as reality shifting does. If you went back in time and, and tried to explain electricity to somebody, or if you tried to explain electromagnetic radiation or you know, high-speed internet, these things would have sounded absolutely insane. But that doesn't mean that they're not possible, I and mean, obviously they are possible now, as we well know. So just because something sounds complicated, far-fetched, difficult, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That doesn't mean it's not possible. Okay, and then second one is, and this is probably what I wanna focus on with this video, is that there's a lot of focus in the reality shifting community on things like fiction and fantasy. Being able to shift into places like Hogwarts or your favorite movie, fan fiction, anime, whatever. And that seems to be the thing, the aspect of shifting that has become really popular and trending, especially on TikTok and Amino and things like that. And what I feel was missing in um, Odd One Out's video about shifting is this, the focus on the fantasy and the fiction aspect of things, because most people, because the trend seems to be that shifting is a way to get into a fiction movie, a way to go to Hogwarts, that makes it sound a little bit less believable. And that's what has been focused on in this video. So I want to kind of debunk that. We all already shift every day, you know, just by focusing on something, either consciously or unconsciously, by focusing on something, we create that reality. And there's so many different explanations for how this works. You know, uh, you have the multiverse theory, you have the butterfly effect, there's all kinds of different terminology that is used to describe how this happens. But really, we're all describing the same thing, our ability to create our own reality based on what we intend, desire or focus on is a fundamental truth of the universe. We all do this. And everything in your life up until this point has been a result of your intention or you know you have shifted to this reality right now through constant attention and intention even if you didn't realize it so really this is nothing new this is just a kind of trending description of something that we've already been doing and this is why i think it's kind of a bad idea for um the odd ones out to focus on the fiction aspect of it because yes people are you know changing their reality to experience their favorite fantasy or whatever but that doesn't mean that the concept of being able to create your own reality is less valid. I don't know, what do you think about this? Um, let me know below, maybe I'm just going off the rails here. I'd really love to hear what you think about this, especially the lucid dreaming community. The third point I really wanna debunk about this video is that he makes this really crazy reference to conspiracy theories. And he says something like, reality shifting is a bit like a conspiracy theory where it's just not based on fact. This is a fundamental misunderstanding of what the term conspiracy theory means. The term conspiracy theory was invented by a government agency to throw people off the trail from uncovering something they were doing. It's absolutely nothing to do with fact or fiction. And many conspiracy theories have a lot of facts and proof and evidence and whistleblowers behind them. To suggest that shifting is like a conspiracy theory is actually proving the opposite point that he was trying to make. It's actually saying there's a lot of interesting alternative viewpoints behind this and it's probably worth looking into. Because in a vast majority of cases, people who label something as a conspiracy theory have not done any research other than just accepting what the mainstream media are telling them to believe. So in many cases, when somebody says, oh, that's like a, you know, that's like a conspiracy theory, that's probably a hint that you should look into it a bit more and do your own research to try and see what the truth is. He also mentions the idea of cloning your subconscious and this is where things get a very, they get very subjective and complicated because we don't really understand fully how you know multiverse theory works and how our choices and decisions impact these different variations of timelines. We don't fully understand that. All we know is that we do create our own reality. We, in every decision, every thought even, every emotion, we create our own reality and there's no way of measuring exactly how much that affects future versions of reality, future timelines, future dimensions and things that would happen. So to summarize, I really 
you think that the video on the Odd Ones Out channel, it's kind of missing the point a bit. It's kind of focusing on the wacky aspect of things instead of really thinking about, is this actually possible? And why are there so many people that have experienced this? It's the same with astral projection, okay? There's people trying to debunk astral projection and say it's not real. There's even people that don't think lucid dreaming is real, even though that's now scientifically proven. But just because something is not scientifically proven, that doesn't make it any less valid. And there's so many examples of this. And really what we're finding today, especially, by the way, if you look at things like the Gateway Experience Report, the page 25 of this amazing report has just been released by the CIA, or well, specifically by the Monroe Institute. This is pretty mind-blowing stuff. This is confirming, this is a CIA investigation they did, basically confirming that we create our own reality and our thoughts and intentions, our perceptions even, dictate the reality we experience. It's mind-blowing. And it's no wonder they've been trying to hide this because when you know that, you're a lot harder to control, a lot harder to manipulate, and you realize there's, there's really nothing that can hold power over you other than yourself. So what I'm trying to say is science is trying to play kind of catch up with things, ancient knowledge that has, you know, been known for a long time. And reality shifting is just another way of explaining the same thing. It's just another term for something that has always been there. So I'd really love to hear what you think about this. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, turn on notifications because we do post weekly videos about lucid dreaming, shifting, and all of this kind of stuff. And like I mentioned in my community post earlier, you can see here the play button that YouTube has sent me for 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for this. I really appreciate each and every one of you who watches my videos. I didn't want to make an entire video just about unboxing the play button because you've seen these videos before. You know what the play button looks like. It's, you know, plaque of metal with the channel name and everything. But I really do appreciate everything you guys do, all your comments. I try and reply to as many as I can. I try and read as many as I can. So I'd love to hear what you think about this particular video and shifting in general, because this is really an interesting moment in history, really, where a huge number of people are all realizing at the same time that we can actually control our reality. We don't have to absorb and go with the programming that's been forced upon us for so many generations. We can decide. You know, we can, we can make these decisions ourselves. And I could go on for hours about this stuff, literally. If you are interested in that kind of thing, maybe leave a comment and I'll make some more videos about it in the future. I'll see you next time.